10 Arizona Morning is back. It's called Forensic Camp. It's Forensic Science where yeah. kids can get a first-hand, uh, like, hands-on knowledge about mm -hmm. solving crime. And it's being held at ASU's West Valley Campus. It's for high school students. So Celeste is showing us the cool things these teens are learning. Celeste? Good morning, everyone. We've got four different crime scenes here. We're at ASU West. We're down in the basement of one of their buildings, and these high schoolers are digging into the nitty gritty. They're finding all the evidence they can, collecting information from these four different crime scenes. Like, take a look at this guy over here. He's saying, what happened here? They're looking at the head. Some of the... Uh, some of the blood there on the scene and and trying to really figure out what took place here and these are high schoolers again we're at ASU West campus now tell me what are you what are you writing down what, to give me an idea of your notes here okay so so for so far we have a gunshot to the head we don't know exactly if the gunshot I'm sorry came from here to here to the right temple or from here to there because there is a bloody glass and he could have cracked a base or a beer bottle over his head afterwards. Okay. And, and when you take a look at him, what have you learned this week at this camp here at ASUS that is helping you figure out what, what took place? Um, so what I figured out, they taught us about like entry wounds to the bullets and exit wounds. So obviously you can see on this side over here, it's a more entry wound because it's more clean cut and this will be the exit wound because it's more um, like bigger and a blasting. Okay. So that's really helping us depending, um, showing us like how, how he was killed and what killed him. What's your name? My name is Isaac Abasta. Nice, nice work. And your name? My name is Danielle Gonzalez. Wonderful work, wonderful work. All right, let's take a look at some of the other crime scenes they have here. Some of these uh, students that are there working on. Now again, there's four different ones as they delve into the details here. Give me an idea of what you think happened to this guy or gal. Um, so looking here, um, we believe that our victim was probably on drugs as we found a bag of cocaine right next to him. Um, he also has multiple stab wounds to the chest, but um, one of the interesting things is that um, if we come and lift up his shirt here, there's no blood on his underside. Um, which could indicate that these stab wounds were done after um, he was already dead um, because you don't bleed after you're dead. So that's really interesting. Um, but we do believe he was probably, he's in a pub and it was probably part of a drug deal. So what, what, what high school do you go to? Um, I go to Scottsdale Prep. Scottsdale Prep. And yes. so do you want to become a detective? Do you want to get into police work? Yeah, I'm really interested in working in a behavioral analysis in the FBI. Oh, wonderful. Good for you. You guys are doing an awesome job here. What's your name? Um, Annika. Great job, Annika. Thank you so much. So Thank let's, you. I'm going to catch up with the professor if I can find her. But this is, uh, Kim, hi. Uh, tell me, these kids are awesome. Aren't they amazing? I have just had the best week with them. Everybody has been so much fun, very open-minded, and they have amazing questions for me, um, whether it's from crime scene processing or types of cases that I've worked on in my career as a forensic scientist to what can I do with this in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Exciting for uh, all these professors and these high schoolers to really learn about something. And uh, a lot of them want to be detectives, going to police work. You just heard Annika with the FBI. So definitely future leaders of America. Back to you guys. All righty. And forensic camp continues all week. Yeah, the camp is full, but ASU plans to, to offer these sessions next summer. I wanted to be a detective, you know, like with the Sherlock Holmes pipe. I know. Sure. Yeah, and that I hat know. that has two brims. What's up with that? Yeah, I don't